Hi everybody, just want to say Happy New Year. Thank you to all your support for 2018 and I hope you continue to support me in 2019. I'm just about to go out and spend some time with family and Neil's giving me eyes across the camera so I'm trying to keep it together. This piece you're going to see was a commission piece and it was a very meaningful piece so I wanted to make sure I captured the correct essence of positivity but a place for somebody to make special rem uh, remembrance and reminisce over somebody that's passed away in their lives so the challenge for me was how do i merge acrylics and also the resin art fluid together uh, so there's some challenges along the way there's some fails along the way <laughs> stop sticking your tongue at me <laughs> but there was also um the end result i feel had a lot of positive energy you had a lot of movement in the ocean i love the flowers and i do love the way it blended through to uh, each other and created a holistic piece so i hope you enjoy me seeing some of this process there is one section that's missing from this is this is where i had to do a second layer of acrylic one side made the mistake with the resin that had gone into the sky the reason i didn't film that one camera's going low again <laughs> is um, the reason i didn't film that piece is um, I'd lost my way and I needed to really concentrate and for me to do that I had to remove the camera and get back in the zone because time was of the essence it was really to the nail or to the wire of me getting this piece done in time for Christmas but I did it and I believe the person really enjoys these and I hope they do for many years so I'm digressing because I'm Sharon uh, happy new year and I hope you get to spend time with loved ones and family and make this year count bye see you on the next video Hi, welcome back to Sharon for Vivid Days. I apologise for my throat. I've been battling an awful cold uh, for a couple of weeks, so first world problems and all. But I will do my best to talk out loud to you. Uh, feel free to jump forward. There are f um, a few key stages. There's the intro, which is what you've just heard. Now you see me mapping out my base coat and the composition. Uh, there is then my resin layer one where I was testing a new method of merging acrylics into fluid art uh, but that one actually was a fail and um, I then had to redo my layer number two acrylic to bring the painting back unfortunately you don't see that process you just see the end result because I needed to really focus and nail this time was of essence as I mentioned before there's layer two where you see me have a successful resin layer and then there's the review so feel free to jump ahead firstly thank you all for your continued support i hope that 2019 brings you all happiness love and success in any way you want and uh, what i'm working on here was a um because oh my gosh not custom made <laughs> This was a commission piece and this was a delicate piece because as I mentioned before, this was a present for somebody um, and it represents a special place where they have a connection with somebody that has passed away. And every so often you see to the left that there is an image coming up. Now, my goal was not to replicate the exact image because it was on a dark, cloudy day, but to use my usual method of bringing some bright vibrancy in there but leave enough similarities so hopefully when they wanted to reminisce and reflect and remember this person that has passed over that this will give them hopefully some joy and happiness. So the uh, the challenge for me with this one was just mapping out the colours, seeing where I wanted the skyline to be and try and get some perspective so that the grass verge towards the uh, front um looks higher than where the rocks or the boulders are below and not as easy as you think when it comes to dealing with resin and acrylics but what I will do is allow you to enjoy the music and just watch me as I work through my acrylic paints mapping out of the colors and creating that base coat as a guide and at this stage I'm trying to work out where will I just apply clear resin to keep the true essence of the acrylics and where will I merge my resin? Now the resin is the beautiful thing that will make the the, the ocean look like it's really moving and fluidity, um, and which is where I wanted to capture. And when you see me apply my resin, I'll talk to you about the challenges that I had there, but enjoy and I'll see you on the next section.
So here is where I am applying my first layer of resin and I'm trying to add some stones that would represent boulders from high ground. You probably see my grass, it's got a very in the edge. That was just where I needed to pull it back. So I wanted to create some shadow where it potentially looks like cliffs over, um, casting a shadow over the sand below. Um, so at this stage, I'm thinking that I wanted to keep my acrylic clear uh, where the grass is and where the skyline is. But the minute I got to the ocean, I wanted to apply it all to be uh, resin. Um, but my what I noticed is it kept bleeding into the sky and then I would add more resin thinking that that would dilute it. But then it just created a, I want to say, a higher... Um, volume of resin that did need to escape because it's self-leveling so what that did it created a bigger problem it, it it went off into the blue and brought it up into the sky I also tried a little experiment which I've not tried before which was adding a little bit of the white to the sky because I wondered what kind of effect would that create would it look like it was fluffy clouds more to the foreground would it add any value to it um, uh, the answer was no <laughs> but you can see I'm applying my real sand something that I particularly like to do because I feel that gives you a little bit more texture uh, when you're looking close up to it it creates different um, shadows or movement within the grass uh, grass oh my gosh I really my brain really isn't computing um, texture within the sand so I'm delicately to what I think I was, is applying my uh, different blues for the ocean. So I'm going to leave you to enjoy this. All you need to know is I was, I got up very early to do this before I visited my family in Yorkshire, which is a four hour drive, ended up being five. Um, so I took on too big a challenge before because with resin, it's self leveling. And if you don't make sure 100% that that's level, or you've done the right technique it is going to keep moving and moving and moving and unfortunately all of my ocean ended up into the sky and the bit of the sky that was there I didn't like the clouds that I've put in there but I've left this in for you just so that one you can understand where I was trying to achieve two maybe you're thinking of doing something uh, yourself but you can see that we don't always get it right and I'm still learning on my resin journey along the way there were sections that I did end up keeping but I was really, really worried because I had to go and see my family, which I wanted to do, not had to do for Christmas. And then I was mindful that I only had a couple of days left before uh, the person that was uh, purchasing this was leaving for his Christmas holidays. And as you know, resin takes a good 24 hours, uh, up to 72 hours to fully cure. So um, what I did was allow this to set come back and then work out what is it that i need to do to salvage this um unfortunately i didn't i i do come back and i do add another layer of resin to save this there was a section that i could save but ultimately i wanted to recreate it and create a different feel and, and make it feel more connected rather than three separate pieces and also your ocean doesn't belong in the sky <laughs> uh, but because I had a time frame and because I really wanted this to be a special piece for this um, person um, I wanted to make sure that there was no cameras on there and I could really zone into my creativity uh, and I actually only ended up touching it up to start with but before you know it I've recreated the painting so I do show you the acrylic painting before I apply the second layer of resin and I do apologize but sometimes needs must and I went into my zone and I ended up creating a better piece the second time round. but enjoy this process if you're not interested feel free to skip forward to the next section other than that relax listen to the music and chill out and I'll speak to you on the next section
So this is where you get to see the acrylic layer number two. I came in and redid the skyline and I came through and added acrylic again. Left the beach part as it is a little bit of foam and uh, obviously the grass. So what I wanted to do was keep the sky totally clear and I actually decided this time to keep some of the acrylic, the deep blue, um, with clear over it and phase it through just to movement as you get to that turquoise light transparent blue. I added the waves in uh, with the brush to create that sense of movement and hopefully that depth. The flowers you can see me adding, they're pressed flowers from my garden and I did add Mod Podge to them. I added two coats, I probably should have added about six but uh, they held up pretty pretty well and uh, there was a significant uh, meaning for some flowers being placed there uh, and that's just part of the remembrance for uh, them uh, but I think that that added a little bit of beauty and a little bit of nature to it and turned this piece into a quite a happy well I hope that the person viewing this sees this is a happy piece um, the beauty of nature um, my goal here was to try to filter through the resin the second time with more control, have a little bit more foam coming into the ocean and where the boulders are at the bottom I'd created some um, acrylic dark paint around them to make it see where the water's inletting in and around in and the goal was to try and hopefully give depth but that sense of movement and also the sense of where the water is staying around those boulders so I'm not really going to say too much other than I really did like how this piece turned out and I'm very slowly adding just a small amount of resin at a time and just trying to control how it leaks onto the beach but also how it blends into the blue so I did add a little bit of uh, resin with the uh, ultramarine blue but just try to really control that and this time I actually managed to stop it leaking too far. It came a little bit far forward towards the grass but I wasn't too concerned because I knew that I'd be adding that final layer of grass uh, just coming over any spills but also just to create a little bit more depth and come in front of some of those flowers a little bit. So yeah super proud of this place and I feel that it's really positive. I added a little bit of glitter into the ocean and I really do like how I blended that and brought that through and it created more of that dramatic and sense of movement at the front. But I'm digressing because I'm Sharon. Sit back, relax and I'll talk to you on the next section. And I hope that I get to hear uh, what you're thinking about this piece.
So here we are at review time. Um, I'm super, super happy. I know I've said that throughout this, but I really do love um, the acrylic skyline and my tiny little bird flying over there. The darker edges just frame it and draw your eyes to the middle. And just the movement that is captured by that delicate blending of acrylic and resin. And the detail and the depth I've got in the grass, I love it. The flowers, I added a tiny little bit of my own acrylic to them just I don't know it made the buttons in the middle seem yummy the boulders uh, they were challenging but overall I think that they've done their job and they do create that depth but I just love the different shades that have been used throughout uh, the colors the rich the depth but also those waves and I don't think that the back part being acrylic and then phasing through to the resin have detracted from it and the different tones that you see in the swell, it does really seem like it's a powerful ocean that you're looking at. And you can believe that it is uh, pulling forward onto the sand and those little bit of dark edges bring it through. At this stage, I'm just trying to show you, you might not see it, but the movement or the glitter that's in there just has that little bit of sparkle and glisten and positivity. So super happy. Um, I hope that you enjoy these pieces and I would love your comments. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video and be creative.